Hey guys, Susanna here. I have been busy all day creating and making stuff, so I thought I'd better do some filming. Um, what you see here is I'm making some gnome TN journals just in a small size. So I've got some of the small, small ones. I've got about eight of these as we are, as I am um, sitting here now. I've got all papers in the background, which I am... Um, like tea dyeing and all that kind of stuff. I, I've just got, we've just organised bits and pieces. The centre will have, that's from that really cute book that I've got from fo the folk. <coughs> Excuse me. I am, um, so I've got four covers that are going to be like that. I've still got work to do. And then I've got some other covers, all pretty much the same with that nice folk people that'll be in the centre but I've got some coffee dye papers in the background and I managed to find I was in KSR Craft and they had a sale on so um, this one's going to be a fairy one got mainly gnomes but then this one will be a fairy one which what centrepiece is that one got that one so um, so I need <coughs> oh, excuse me I need um my, my coffee dyed paper I've got my heater on so it's it's going and um, yeah so I've got eight I'll have eight of the name ones and one fairy one while I'm doing stuff anyway um, so because I've got a book one of the another someone is sending me a book thank you Jenny you're all a lifesaver um, so I thought I'm gonna start doing and I'm also finishing off a um, one for a friend too. Remember that one that I was going to do for a friend? I'll probably do a flip through of that one. So, um, and she's wanting that. Okay, now what I'm going to do, so that's, I thought I'd just show you what I'm going to do here. So I thought I'd do TNs, that way I can make a few. So I've been busy all day um, today. Uh, and then I'm going to do some ephemera pieces as well. I haven't really got much left. I'm using up some of the ones I've put aside from my friend and myself but because the book is arriving on Thursday. So I'm just using what I've got at this point and getting ready. I'm very excited. So what I am going to do, I have made, I'm going to be making a um, a couple of this will go at the back of the journal a little ephemeral one and then this one will go on the inside so um, so I'll just show you I've just pre-done one like that's gonna go in in here in the back anyway okay so I'll get started so it's sort of doing it a little bit back to front to what I normally would do I'd normally show you how do I do the cover and all that but I'm just preparing everything ahead of time and doing it. And I thought, well, I might as well film. So, um, okay, what I do with this, I've got one of the, I thought I've done, I've got about eight of them or whatever, a drawing in the background like this. So um, I'm making, um, actually, first thing I'm going to do, so, a lot of you have got this, but if not, just use a normal envelope. Just going to seal it shut, that one. Okay. Then, just cut the little top part off. Okay. Then, I've got this bit of fabric which I'm going to put over the edge, which I will do. Hopefully, I'll have a look. It is not flickering because it's getting a, getting a little bit late here. Um, I've actually managed to talk my husband into um, making dinner while I'm crafting. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> So um, I was very excited to be able to get this extra book from my lovely friend, Jenny. Um, I've also got a Christmas one coming, but oh, the people who I bought it off, 
it took them three weeks to send it and then it's going to get here at the end of october early november which is ridiculous it's for christmas so that's my christmas gnome one so the reason why i'm only going up to a certain point is i'll show you in a minute now so i'll just let that dry so i thought i'll just show you what i'm going to do now do you remember these i got a whole heap of invitations as you can see that's what i'm using in the back here so i'm going to get them to work together um, these are the like new change of address invitations so what i'm going to do with these So all of these um, journals will be a, a little different because they're going to have different, they're all going to have different pictures on the inside. Um, but the same um, sort of, you know, like, you know, same sort of thing, but different, if you know what I mean. So they'll all have different pictures because the book has got what the book has got and it's usually only got one off. So I'll have different pictures within the different things. So this is what you can do. I just found this at a thrift shop um, and I got it for 50 cents, a whole book of these. And I thought they were so pretty. So there we go. I'll tear this bit off here. Okay. Here is, I can show you what I am doing. Yeah. <clears throat> we're back. I've made one earlier. Ow! Oh, sorry, bango. Um, I made one earlier, but it had. The calico background and i'm like i really need to do it in the blue background so this is what i'm wanting to do and then putting the tag in here like that just thought it was so cute um i really wanted to use them and then because i've got a whole pad i've still got more like you get a whole pad full of these um yeah, I really wanted to use it up. So, and then this will get used. Use the whole lot. That'll get used for the tag. Just want to do the tearing look because um, I like that look. And that's it. Rubbish. And I use every little bit. Okay. I just thought it looked really cute. It gives it a 3D effect in the houses in the in the background. Okay, now, here's one I've dried and done earlier. So, where's my... I've sort of transferred everything over here from um, my table. Here's one I made earlier. I, did, I originally did it in a small one. I thought, now I can fit a bigger tag on there. So, just going to ink on the inside. Really love this picture. So cute. Okay, now what I will do because it's over over fabric. I'm just using some PVA glue. Or I can probably use tacky glue, but since I've got the PVA glue out, I'll just use that. Okay. Now what I do is I... Have it so... I make sure I get the holder bird in. But I want to take off that bit off the edge. Then a little bit more glue. So I'm going to have a lot of fun making the ephemera for this. Because I'll have um, nine to do. 
So um, I'll probably utilise this one for the fairy one as well. Then just cut that. Now this will be glued onto the back of the book. So it doesn't really matter what's on the back. Keep that as well. There we go. Now, so we keep that. That's for the tag. Then I get the little house. Probably take that off because it's going to hit the butterfly okay love this project because I'm using what I have and I really liked this picture I thought it was so cute I like that then I'm just gonna put it aside um, and let it dry oh. I actually oh. might cut that off a little bit more I think don't want that edging to show um, because I'm going to be going on the sewing machine. I've got to sew around here yet as well. There we go. So that's why I want it to dry. So while that is drying, um, I'll start working on some of my other stuff. Okay, there we go. I think that looks a little better than um, that. I mean, it still has its place. You could probably put a word or something in there, but I'm not going to go to waste. I'll be using it. Um, but I like the look of that a little better. So I'll just let that dry. Okay. And... Then we have got this. This is the tag that's going to go in there. So I've got some paper, which I used on the other one. So I'm just going to rip that off. My beautiful eco dyed paper from. Um, my lovely friend. I think I like the lighter, the lighter look on the bottom. So I've still managed, still have a um, few little images of the names left. Not much, <laughs> um, but I have a whole book full on Thursday. Yay! Oh. Now. Oh, so you got to be careful. So there we go. And these are the ones I've ma I made ages ago um, that have got my eco dyed paper on my back, which is really cool. So look, this is why it's good to every now and again just do a stash of stuff. Um, this is going to go fairly quickly, this craft with me thing, because I've got everything organised ahead of time and I know what I'm doing rather than creating on the fly, which I often do. It's not a bad thing. Okay. Love this paper. I just think it is so beautiful. They 
that's going to go there. Then, oh, this threads. Threads! And that will go there. Ring. Because we are going to stick her here. So, probably put this upside down. Why not? Hey, we'll use it and sort of make it look a little bit like grass as well. Use everything you have. Now, um, what have we got? Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So I'll put that over there, and then I'm going to stick that there. How to utilise every little thing. There we go. Then this one. and then trim off the edges and then I'm just using this thing because that's what I've got but you guys can use whatever papers you have um, I'm going to be using leftover bits because I've got a whole heap of paper that I bought today for this guy Go. Oh, cute. Give it a good ink. Now it needs a tab. Needs a tab. Um, I'll put her here like that. Oh, isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Just love this notebook. She's going to go there, sitting amongst the love it. This one, if you recall, I made um, for myself because this lady reminds me of my mother, so I'll be keeping that one. I just needed an example. And I've got a whole heap of these, which I'll be using as tags as well to put throughout the journal. Now, what I need ugh, is a new piece of paper because that one is terrible. There we go. Put that the right way. Um, okay. I am just going to go and find something for a tab. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of lace. Won't be long. Okay. So, what I have done, I've just got a doily, and I am going to just cut off a little bit like that. Stick that on there. And then it's got a couple of these. I'm just wondering whether I should stick those on there too. They look rather cute. Get a bit of three dimension. Okay. A bit of tacky glue. Yeah. Might do the same. Ugh. Good thought. On here. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll stick that. Oh, that's cute. Might as well. What else are you going to use, eh? So, then I'll turn it off. And then sew around the outside of that. Ugh, good grief. Um, where did I cut through, didn't I? No, I didn't. These little doilies are quite good for this sort of thing. Okay. Perfect size. And then got another one of these flowers. There we go. And even cut around the doily and then cut the doily in half um, for a tag on another one or flower. There we go. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Now, I've got to sew around this one. I've got my punch here somewhere, which I can't find. I was thinking of doing a, a thing, but I may not. Now, yeah, while I'm here, while I'm here, this baby could use one too. wider that one that's all right that's okay now what to do tissue Ugh. there we go so um i'll quickly sew around that and then i'll be back Okay, back again. What I did is I sewed along there and I thought I'd do a little bit of a, a um, oh, what do you call it, the, the leafy trim along there. So I'll open up that and then I sewed, makes a difference when you sew I think, it looks really cute. How cute is that? And I thought while I was there I'll sew this one too. That's the one that's going to go in here. So, hopefully it'll fit. Maybe I'll have to re rethink doing that. Do it a little closer. Yep, it fits. Very cute. Okay, so what we're going to do with it, I was going to, I've got another one here that I want to start, but I just don't think it's going to, I'll have to do a, um, and part two ephemera. So I'll grab one of these ones and I'm going to stick that in the back. So I might do this because double sided tape tends to work pretty well. And I've got plenty of it. Trouble is pretty hard to get this stuff off. I don't know if you guys have this much trouble getting off double sided tape, it drives me insane. Actually, I'll do a little bit of this in between. Um, I could probably pause it because it may take me a while. Hang on a second. Okay, back again, managed to get it off. Yay! Okay, make sure that perfect size for this actually. Okay. 
These are not cute. And you got your little nimey in there like that. I like it. And I've already um, this is the, the door. I did a slit and then put that through. I've got a trace around that to make it a little bit blacker and then I'm going to put a gnome in there. That'll be really cute. A bit like the other one and then put some stuff on there. So, um, yep, more of a affordable version of my last gnome journal and I can do a few more of them, which is nice. So I had a ball making the last one. I love this. I think it's so pretty. I'm glad I found that. Especially, you know, nature and names just go hand in hand. How cute is that? I love it. So there you go. There's my extra one. And then my extra lady here. So there you go. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. There you go. Got a bit of an idea. Good TN size journal. That's the inside anyway. Love it. Okay, um, and I'll do part two. Um, I'm going to be working on doing that, making a um, ephemera to go in one of these. So, yeah, I was going to hopefully do it on this one, but I think um, I don't, it's already 26 minutes, so I'd rather take my time. Okay, guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.